Why didn't Gran Gran tell Katara that the Northern Water Tribe would not teach her waterbending? Why didn't Katara's grandmother, Kana, tell Katara that the Northern Water Tribe does not teach women proper waterbending? I think it's because Gran Gran did not want to make Katara feel bad. Gran Gran wanted to boost Katara's morale rather than weaken it. Gran Gran wanted Katara to be very positive and have an upbeat attitude. And of course, Katara is responsible for helping Aang save the world. So she's really going to need to feel as much positive energy as possible. So Gran Gran just wanted Katara to feel good and feel energized and motivated. The motivation is a key factor because if Katara knows that the Northern Water Tribe won't teach her, well, then that's going to kill her motivation and she's not going to be able to do her best when she's uh, traveling with Aang because she's going to feel bad the whole time. So that is the surface reason as to why Gran Gran did not tell Katara that the Northern Water Tribe does not teach women proper waterbending. However, the deeper reason is, I think that Gran Gran had a lot of faith in Katara, and Gran Gran really believed in Katara, and she believed that Katara was so capable and talented and um, resourceful enough to maybe where Katara might either be able to learn waterbending on her own, or maybe Gran Gran believed that Katara could somehow convince the Northern Water Tribe to teach her, which she did. Katara managed to convince Paco to teach her. And maybe the deeper reason is maybe a Grand Grand knew that Katara would run into Paku and that maybe that would make Paku come to the Southern Water Tribe and maybe Grand Grand wanted to see Paku. Maybe that was an indirect way of doing that. And also maybe a Grand Grand figured that a Katara could talk some sense to the Paku and maybe Grand Grand knew that Paku would recognize Katara if she saw the necklace and maybe that Paku would be moved into teaching Katara. So maybe Grand Grand just knew all these things beforehand or made some uh, very audacious uh, predictions. And uh, those are probably the reasons why. It's because Grand Grand did not want to hurt Katara's feelings and depress her. She wanted Katara to have a positive attitude. And it's also because Grand Grand really believed in Katara and had a lot of faith in Katara's abilities and that she believed that Katara would either be able to convince Paco to train her or that Katara was just smart enough to learn it herself. So uh, Grand Grand wants Katara to be happy and she really believes in Katara. And also it's possible that Grand Grand might not have known and that's because Grand Grand is not a waterbender. She's a non-bender. So while her friend Yagoda is learning Healy and all the other women are Healy, learning Healy, maybe Grand Grand just wasn't paying attention and maybe she was just like, oh yeah, waterbender is doing their thing. Um, and maybe, so maybe she didn't even know that the women waterbenders uh, train as healers and that uh, the male waterbenders are the only ones learning the actual advanced waterbending techniques. Because in real life, for instance, if... If you're in high school and you're not taking AP World History, you have no idea what's going on in AP World History because you're not taking the class because it's not important to you, it's not relevant to you, you don't care about it. So, and um, for instance, if you're taking AP Biology but someone else is not taking AP Biology, that someone else has no idea what's going on in AP Biology and doesn't really care because it's not relevant to that person. So because waterbending was never relevant to Grand Grand before Katara was born, maybe Grand Grand just didn't care enough to know the waterbending customs of the Northern Water Tribe. Maybe she just, like, really just didn't care. So that's another possible reason. So maybe Grand Grand didn't even know that the Northern Water Tribe had a sexist rule against female waterbenders.